Good evening. Hi. Oh, there we go. Let's just move that down. Thanks for joining us. Hi there. Thank you for waiting. Um, and yes, hope you had a good day today. My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusa Crafts. So good. And Ooh, we might be honoured with Tommy tonight. Um, yes. He's hovering around. Normally so. they're asleep. Yeah, he's going to yes. jump on us and it's going to okay. hurt my leg. I know he Come is. Come on. <laughs> yes, uh, we're independent stamping up demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current stamping up products from our online shop. Uh, every week we put out a couple of uh, card making and paper crafts videos. So uh, it's worth considering to subscribing on our channel if you haven't done so. Uh, we also have a Facebook page so you can follow our page there. Good. Excellent. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so as, um, as soon as you pop in, say hello, um, and we'll try and keep up with the comments. Uh, Bar is just setting that up on the laptop. Hi, Kathleen. Thanks for joining us. Uh, and as usual, we're going to go through some of the cards that we've been creating this week. Uh, you might have seen most of them because they have gone out on blog hops, and these ones were from last yeah, last week's. Um, last week's. So yeah, what did so we do on Wednesday? I can't even remember. What did we do on Wednesday? Did we do a Facebook Live? We did do a Facebook Live. Uh, Can anyone uh, remind us? What did we do on yes. Wednesday if you're watching? What did I we have so many cards up there and it's all merging into one. I think there's a couple of Facebook Lives that we still haven't blogged yet. Uh, hi, Sandra. Oh, we went out for a walk. We did nearly three miles. Yeah, just under three miles again. So we went out earlier whilst it was still yeah. relatively warm. Yeah, it's so. gone cold today. It's really windy. So yes. so yes. Hi, Janice. Hi. So yeah, so DSP um, using the best dressed um, was it best dressed designer series paper. Yeah. Um, so these are what we did the other day and using that lovely... Yeah, that was last Sunday, I believe. Yes, it was. What did we do on Wednesday? Oh, I I, I did the, the bag. That's oh, it. That was yeah, it. we only did the bag on um, Wednesday with the Dress to Impress uh, bundle. Uh, so this one uh, was from the Creating Kindness blog hop on Thursday. I did the blends colouring the elephants and it's actually masked so I can carry on with the sponging the background and it's going closer with the waterfront stamp set and the majestic dot mountain dies for the finishing touches. Yeah I do I do that I do a close up one when the camera slips around so that we get a bit we can focus better and the other way around. We had the gentleman crafters designed in blog hop and Barry did this one. This is fun. Yes, so um, uh, pops up. Yes. So, yeah, so that's a really nice one. So there's a yeah, there's a um, that's online. There is a video for this as well, showing you how to create this yourself. But hang along till the end because I'm going to show you another one um, which is available. We've set up our Etsy shop now, um, so we, we're we're starting to sell some of our our more intricate cards on um, on Etsy and I've made another one which is slightly different as well to go over onto that one so stay tuned till the end and we're going to show you that one and if you'd like to purchase any of our cards you can head over to Etsy and go and buy it, buy some um, from there. Yes and uh, I've also designed a new pop-up uh, inspired by Paris card uh, I'm calling it flip top pop-up card so that's going to be available uh, on Etsy soon as well as a tutorial a PDF tutorial and a video tutorial for that uh, so keep a look out but stay tuned until the end and we'll show you a sneak peek yes cool all right so we're going to be using the painted poppies uh, stamp set as well as the peaceful moments stamp set tonight for the sentiments and um, just to make two simple cards um Jay's obviously um got hair on her sorry <laughs> lovely <laughs> I can feel it um Jay um you're not doing anything tonight, are you? It depends on how quickly I go, but I don't think you've got yeah. anything. Oh, oh, Suki's on, on the table as well. There we go. Hello. Say hi, Suki. So we have cats, two cats on us. There we go. <laughs> right, yes, so um, we'll see. We'll see, but I'm going to do create two simple cards tonight um, using yeah, using the um, Peaceful Poppies and the um, Peaceful Moments stamp set. So. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Linda. 
Come, yeah, thank you for joining us. Right, let's flip you round. Oh, don't Say hi, Tommy. Go on, there you go. Hello. Oh. Yeah, he's happy. Hi, Julie. Oh, yeah. yeah, I turned the heating on earlier on because I thought you were going to be cold. Okay, so as we mentioned, I'll show you this one here. It focuses a bit better um, on this camera. Look at his colouring, isn't that amazing? So nice. And those are the ones which we did the other day. All right. So, um, let's just clear up a little bit of room. Oh, I'll show you that one there. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Cool. All right. So I'm going to be doing the, I'll do this one first. So I have got myself some Whisper White Thick cardstock. So we cut this down to our normal size of 14.5 centimetres by 21 centimetres. And then it's scored at 10 and a half centimetres. So that's, our, that's what we use for our card bases. Um, because we find it's just easier um, to trim it that way. Um, so that's how we do it, and it's just you, you get everything out of the cardstock quite nicely. And I've cut a piece of Whisper White cardstock, so the normal one, at eight and a half centimeters by 12 and a half centimeters. So that's going to be my layer, which goes on that one right there. So the stamp set, which I'm or the one which I'm going to use first of all, is going to be painted poppies, um, and I'm going to be using this one here. I'm not going to be going for the traditional ones, which you would normally probably go for. These are the most popular ones which you see people using. I'm going to go for this strip right here, and I've already got that out. So. And I've got that there. Can I actually have just a scrap bit of paper, please, Jay? Just yeah. to stamp on, because I don't get on the table. Thank you very much. And I'm going to be using Memento ink to do this one here. And I'm just going to ink up this stamp like so. I'm using Memento because I'm going to be colouring in in some blends as well. So you use the opposite and I'm going to just bring this down here and create a little flower garden at the bottom of my page. Oh. What? A flower, garden. a flower garden. A poppy garden. Poppy field. Poppy field, that's it. And we'll then continue that stamping on that side there all right really simple I'm going to be using the colors I want to use for this one here is I'm going to use the lovely lipstick light and dark stamping blend I'm going to color in in the light to start off with so just bear with me this is just going to take me a little bit of time so if you've got any questions Ask away, now's the time to do it. Jay's monitoring the comments, so if we've got any questions, he can um, he can do that. I'm just colouring in roughly. I'm just gonna scribble in, and that will be fine. And then I'm gonna go over with a little bit of dark in a moment, just to, a little bit of shading. I don't want this to be too perfect. Doing well. Yes. Tommy's on the prowl. He doesn't know where to sit. Let's see, come on, Tommy. I've, he likes to sit by the side of me um, whilst I'm crafting. Come on, Tommy. Come sit there. And I have the trimmer on his seat. So he's wandering around going, Where can I go? There you go. He's settled down now. So I'm just scribbling this in. I'm not worried if I go over the lines, it's fine. Nice. 
nice. I like lovely lipstick. Yeah. This colour is um, retiring um, at the end of this month. So if you like lovely lipstick, then now's the time to get hold of it. Okay, so just some rough colouring, that's all we're doing. Has everyone had a good day today? I can't see any comments. Um, here we go, nearly finished. And we're just down like that. So that's that part done. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the dark blends and I'm just gonna just color in, not color in all of it, but just add like a little bit of shading at the bottom or around these, just adds a little bit to it. And because I haven't been too careful with the colouring throughout all of it, like I say, if some of it goes over the white, over the lines, it doesn't look odd because they all look a little bit messy so and it's a kind of it's a messy stamp and you'll see in a moment what I mean so it's just added a little bit to it you can see there that's good all right so that's that part done and now what we're going to do is we are going to in here we've got these lovely splats so some detail and I'm going to use the Call Me Clover, so another colour which is retiring at the end of this month and I'm going to use the large splat here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like so. Um, And then I'm gonna I'm gonna do some second generation, third generation, and then kind of fill it in the middle parts there, just to fill that in. And that's pretty much what that card is gonna look like. So really, really simple. But again, because you've got these these splats on here, it makes the whole thing look. It ties everything in. So if you've gone over the lines, it doesn't matter. Which is why I wasn't too worried about it. So that's that part. Going to keep it in with the Call Me Clover. So sticking to my little challenge, which I set myself. Um, try not to use black too much, and especially for sentiments. So I'm going to come, I'm using the Thank You sentiment here. And I'm going to stamp this in the Call Me Clover. And I just need to bring this down a little bit closer so I can see and get myself over a little bit. And I'm going to stamp that. Like, in, like that and there we go we have that now just done in the call me clover so I'm just going to give these a bit of a clean up before I move on to the next stage And then all I'm going to do to finish this particular card up is I'm going to move, I'm just going to pop this onto some dimensionals just to raise it. So we're going to do some dimensionals. I'm going to use, use several. I'll try not to go overkill like I was um, told I went the other day on a video of mine. <laughs> so I'm going to go less this time got the, at least i've got the edges are done and i've got the middle covered so it's not going to dip down in the middle we'll remove these back in from from the dimensionals we add the black lines to our dimensionals manually with a blend with a blend or a marker pen 
just makes it easier to identify what ones we have and haven't taken the backings off of. And this is the hardest part, is getting this now onto the card straight. So I'm, tr I'm trying to look for an even edge this side and this side here, and the top and the bottom. I think that's about right. And then I'll pop that down. Like that, that's good enough. And then we just finish that off. Wow. Okay. So a nice white on white card, really, really simple. And a nice, and the, 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 the card, the, the sentiments from this one is from the peaceful moment. So it's a really nice all round general set. So you've got your happy birthdays, you've got your congratulations, you've got your thank yous. Obviously you've got the ones, the cards which we don't like to make that often, but it's still in there and it's a really nice script as well. It's a nice text to use. So again, this would look really nice if you had to make cards like that. You can just do something like this and pop the deepest, with deepest sympathy on there. Um, these are the moments we look back on with joy, which I, I kind of like saw that and I thought to myself, you know what, we're in a real tough time at the moment, but hopefully we will look back on these moments and go, they were actually turned out quite well in the end. Um, we'll see. So I'm trying to take a little bit of positive thought from that sentiment right there. So that's that particular card. So I've got one more, which I'm going to show you how to make. So that's the first one. There was my original one, which I did there. And I just realized that I actually, on the original one, I used the smaller splat. So I used, I used this one here for the greenery at the bottom. Um, I don't think it makes too much difference. Obviously, it's a little bit more intense on this one than it is on that one there. Um, and just to give you an idea, this is another one which I did as well off camera. So again, if you didn't want to be colouring in the poppies, you could always just use the smaller splat on the bottom and then you could use the larger one on the top here and then still bring in your sentiment. So let's bring the thank you in again. And that can maybe sit over this side here. And I think that would still work as well. So if you haven't got any blends or you don't want to do any colouring, you just want to make a real quick, simple card, you can go with that. The, the colour might be a little bit too intense with the first generation, so maybe go with a second generation if you're doing that one there or, if you're, or use a less, um, less intense colour. I think that would work better. Um, it might be a little bit overpowering, possibly, on that one. All right, so that's those two, two ideas there for you. Moving on to the next one. It's going to be a quick video tonight, Joe. Have you got anything to um, come in with at all, by um, any chance? Um, I can try. Because Jay's doing something in the background, but I don't know what he's actually doing. It might be for tonight, it may not be. But because I'm going to do one other card, and this is not going, going to be quite simple as well. And sometimes all we want is quick, simple cards. So cut my card base down to size again. So I mentioned this at the beginning, 14 and a half by 21. Score it at 10 and a half centimetres. Fold it in half and then use the bone folder to finish that off. I'm just going to do some interest on the background first. So I'm going to grab the poppy here and I am going to grab the grey granite. Actually, no, I'm not going to use grey granite. I used grey granite on my original, but I'm going to go tone on tone. So I'm going to use the pretty peacock ink and on the background here. So this is going to get mounted. This is going to get put in this position right here and it's going to go like that, the finished part. So I just want to add a little bit of interest to the back here and I'm going to round here. So I'm going to roughly see where I want to position this, move that out of the way and then do one down there and then do another one over like that. So that's going to then just add a little bit of interest in the background. And the same thing again, I'm going to just do that down in the bottom corner down here. Just give me a rough idea of where it is and then just stamp that down. All right, so that's all I'm going to do for those two. And then that one that gets stuck on, that's just going to add a little bit of detail behind the back. I've done the original card I've done, I've done it in um, 
grey granite so you can see the difference of what the grey granite and the tone on tone looks like in a second. Are we doing what we said we were going to do, um, Jay? Yeah? Yes? Yeah. Okay, so we've, uh, me and Jay have been thinking about this, and obviously we, we make a lot of cards, and we would like to send a few more cards. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick somebody at the end of this video. So let's say stay tuned until the end, and we will pick somebody who comments in the, who comments during this live video, um, and we will send you one of these cards. All right, so if you want to be in the chance of receiving this card, it's open to you worldwide. If you want to be in the chance of receiving one of these cards in the post, leave a comment here. We will then do a random draw live on camera, and we will then um, notify who's the winner. And we then ping, you can then ping us with your details, and we, we quite happily pop these in the post for you. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to, I've taken this poppy right here. I am using black again um, because I want it to be the outline of my image. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp that down like that. Okay. So good. And the clean as we go. I will use the blends for this particular one. I'm going to do some colouring with the Pretty Peacock blends along with the Granny Apple blends here. So the Granny Apple blends is obviously going to be for the for the stem. So I'm just going to go down just gently colouring that stem. So I'm using the light one first, like I did with the poppies. And then I'm gonna grab the dark one and I'm just gonna pop a little bit of detail in the center, like that. Just adds a little bit of shadow in there. Hi Rose. That's that. We will grab the Pretty Peacock blend. I'm gonna do this in the light. So I've not actually used the dark on this one. So if you wanna grab the light one um, on its own, now's the time to do it because come next month, they are only gonna be sold in combo packs. So if you have got any of the blends and you need to um, replace just one of them, now's the time to buy them because you can get them individually still. All right. So, and any of the products which you see us using, you can purchase from us via our online shop. Links to that can be found over on our blog, matusucrafts.com. So feel free to head over there. Also, if you're over there as well, check out with all of our other stuff if you haven't done so already. All right, so that's that part done. I'm gonna grab the small splats here. And instead of going in with the, instead of doing blending with the dark, I'm going to grab these splats and all I'm going to do is I'm just inks it up in the coordinating ink and I'm just done that over the top of it. And that kind of just adds a little bit of shading to it as well. It kind of brings the whole thing, it ties it all together. Clean it off. I'm going to bring in the large splats. I am going to use grey granite. I really like the grey granite because it's um, it's a warm grey. So the other ones are quite a cold grey. I quite I like this one because it's warm. And this one is just going to go over that like that. Um, Rose, did you miss much? Yeah, I don't know where you come in, but you've, we've done the first card already. So which was that one right there, which we which we done, and I'm I'm quite close to finishing this one actually. Well, half an hour video, <laughs> um, clean. Do you need anything? No, I'm fine. And we will bring in with a sentiment on this one. So I'm going to use happy birthday here, and I'm going to use the pretty peacock again for stamping my sentiment rather than black. 
and we will then just pop that down like so. That's it. So Jay has put a um, ribbon on my pro on my first card. Is that stuck on Jay? Is it or is that yeah, um, it's loose? Yeah. All right. So we will just put some glue on the back of this now, and I think if, are we going to get? Some? I think that's really run out now. <laughs> Problem is, we we'll keep. But I keep saying every time I do a video, I keep saying oh, I think that's run out now. And what do I do? I put it back into the holder. So when I come to do another video, I pick up the one which is empty. Mm -hmm. So I think I just need to bin it. But I'm sure I'm sure I can squeeze a little bit more out of it, which is why I don't want to bin it. But and we have done this. So I've cut this one. Is going to go on to the. Um, I've gone blank. What colour? It's soft sea foam. No, not soft sea foam. Seaside spray which is the ink color. So you notice I've using the ink colors, which are still available for another year. So Seaside Spray. So I think I mentioned at the beginning that this was, the white layer was six centimeters by 10 centimeters. So the Seaside, the, the, the matte layer, the Seaside Spray is 6.4 by 10.4 centimeters. Okay. And that just gives you a nice, a nice layer. What I'm going to do now is I will grab my dimensionals again here. Pop these on the back. So I do five again, one on each corner and then one in the middle. I did even bring myself a new glue out as well. There we go. And now what we would do is we will actually see how we're going to stick this on. We're going to stick that down. Actually, can I have some tear and tape, please, Jay? So we've got a little bit of the coordinating ribbon which goes with the ink colours. This is carrying over as well, so which is nice. So you can still get hold of this. And that's just gonna do go in like so and it's just gonna poke out of the end. So a little bit of tear and tape here just to go over the top. Like that. So it's just going to stick out like so. And then we will then position that back in. Over. Like that. And there we go. There's my. Just what I put it on back to front. There's a really simple card, all right? Um, the first one which I did, which is that one there, you can see it without the ribbon. And you can see I did it in the gray granite. Now you can't actually, it's really difficult to see it. Um, so, which is why it's better if you do it in a coordinating. You can you can just about make it out there, but if, you were to, if, if you're looking at that, you wouldn't see it. Whereas if you do it in a coordinating ink with the cardstock which you're using, it will show up a little bit more, as you can see on my two examples. So there we go. There's my two um, my my two cards there, and we've got. If I bring in the one which I've just done, what one was it? It was that one there, wasn't it? Which I've done live on camera. So Jay, have you got anything you want to add to tonight's video? I'm going to stay tuned. Don't log off just yet because we are going to do a draw, and we will um, show you a sneak peek. I'm not sure. I'm going to give Jay the option if he's got anything planned. I don't have anything planned. No, 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 that's fine. So we're going to have just a, keep it a short video tonight then. Yeah. So two cards there. Thank you card and a happy birthday using the Peaceful Moments and the Painted Poppies. So this one here for all of your sentiments. And the Painted Poppies right there um, for this one. This one, again, is 
the colouring on this is really simple, so you can just colour. Should I actually, should I just do a quick example of how they, how they colour yeah. with the things? Can you just grab me a um, scrap bit of Whisper White? I'll just show you because you haven't, so we haven't shown them, and I've gone with the other ones which aren't we would traditionally use. Um, where did you put them? They're in the scrap oh, piece of the scrap pieces from the um, where oh, we normally see. keep them. So you can make another copy. Scrap. No, don't put me on the spot. I haven't planned. <laughs> All right, so we go black. So you can either, I'm gonna show you some coloring in a second, um, but I'm just gonna keep this really simple. So you do this in your black or whatever you want it to be. There are coordinating dyes which match with this set as well. Um, they are a little bit tricky to get hold of at the moment due to delivery issues. But there are coordinating dyes, but they are relatively easy to fussy cut out as well. That's that, um, and then we grab these ones right here. And this, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna have a pretty peacock flower. And we do that. And we will, it might be a little bit too dark first generation, so I'm gonna do second generation and then over the top like that, okay? And for the other one, what you can do is you can use the splat to kind of go in on that one there. Also works quite well. Does that work over that small one? I'm not sure. You can uh, do it a couple of times. Sorry? Do it a couple of times. What, the splat? Yeah. Yeah. Or use the small one to fill it up. Good call, Batman. Other superheroes. Oh, yeah, other superheroes <laughs> are available, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. And we're just... Um... So, yeah, we can just fill that in. We love all superheroes from all other studios. <laughs> All right, so that's that. And then what you can do is you can then fussy cut these ones out if you wanted to. Um, and you can give you, and you can color in yourself some really nice flowers like so. Um, or you can take it to another level. Um, I actually think this is one which I colored, wasn't it? Yes. That one, or you've got ones which are colored like that, where you can then fussy cut them out and then color them in like so just to give yourself some really nice poppies. So that might actually look quite nice as well, doing a background there and then having these potentially in the foreground as well. So you can you can do something like that. You can fussy cut out yourself some of these leaves here. There is no in there. Um, that would work as well potentially, or you could have it on this card right here. Um, it's probably a little, obviously the colour coordination on that one is out, but you could probably do something maybe where it's out with the pretty peacock in up here, might work. So there's a few, few little ideas. So that's what the big flowers look like once they're coloured in and done. And that's Joe's one right there. So good, all right. Colour lifter. Colour lifter as well, if you're wondering how that was done in the centre. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to give you just a, just a second or two. If you want to be in a chance of winning one of these cards, then please pop a comment in. Um, we are going to do a draw right now for the comments, and then we will then um, show you a sneak peek. Oh, I think our internet's gone down. No, we're still there. Are we still here? We're still there. Are we still live? I think so. Um, it might just be the laptop. Might just be, yeah, okay. Right, so we will do. So shall we go back round to place to place yeah. whilst I do the um, whilst I do the draw? And I'll bring the laptop in. 
I can't sit because Tommy's on my <laughs> Right, so that's good. All right, I'm just going to bring the laptop in. Jay's going to chat to you for a moment once he's moved the cat off the... Um... Yes, sorry. Come on, come back up. He wouldn't move for me, but he'd probably jump up. Yes, um, so then Barry Duel. Um, Did I really well. like, yes, I really like those cards. Um, get your comments in now because he is just loading the random name picker, um, comment picker, so um, for your chance to win. Um, we'll choose one and then in a week's time, we'll do the other one for when people uh, comments on the actual video. So you can have two chances to win. Uh, one live during now, <laughs> during now, and then uh, come back again and then leave a comment on the actual video. Um, and then we'll pick another winner. Okay, then. I'm copying the link over He's right now. now. And close. Right, let's pop that link in. And yeah, we will filter people. out. And um, yes, so... Oops, this comment, this video has comments disabled. That means we can't get any. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean comments disabled? What do we mean comments disabled? Come on, I've done this earlier on. We tried it earlier yeah. and it worked. It worked um, fine. That's fine. Um, you can just type it in. Um, so yes, so on Wednesdays we do Facebook Live. So if you haven't checked out our Facebook page, uh, <laughs> go ahead and do that. Uh, if you haven't done so, give us a thumbs up. That'll be amazing. It just helps our channel as well as subscribing to our channel. Um, what else is coming this week? Uh, we have, oh, Barry, you will have um, Casually Crafting. Yes, help. Casually Crafting. Yeah, that's okay. on the Friday. Um, I have the Spot Creative Challenge, which I'm actually going to show you a sneak peek. So shh, don't show, don't tell anyone. Uh, <laughs> so I'll show you a sneak peek using the uh, Painted Puppies for that. And you saw the, mo uh, I did some masking. You saw those um, masks that I created from Painted Poppies set. Hi, Gigi. We're just um, getting the name picker to work. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is meant to be so easy. It was meant to do a live thing. So but it gives you a to... chance to get your comments in. Um, so that's good. Um, what else? I can show you the Etsy stuff. So this one. So Barry used the Free as a Bird. So that one is on um, it. Is that the one on Etsy, the bird? And uh, we can personalize that as well from our Etsy store. Um, so yeah, so using the bird ballet DSP and free as a bird colored in Snap and Blends marker. And then this one is gonna be, this is my flip top pop-up card. So I'm working on the PDF and a video tutorial for that, which is going to be available from our website, midosocrafts.com. And uh, we'll be selling these cards as well on our Etsy store, which um, can be personalized because you can do the numbers there, uh, different um, occasions. So it can be anniversaries or things like that. But yes, yeah, so use, that was using the best dress DSP. Um, but Obviously with the tutorial, it'll be whatever DSP um, that we have to hand and you can just recreate it with whatever DSP you have. So yes, yeah, so look out for that. Uh, are you actually gonna... No, it's not working. So okay. I'm gonna have to wait until afterwards. We're gonna have to do the drawing afterwards um, and then contact you separately. It won't allow me to pull the comments in yeah. from the Yeah, so what we'll video. do is uh, we'll, we'll stop the video and then go back on um, and then we'll just post, uh, go onto our Facebook page, um, and then we'll put the winner there, uh, or what we'll do is we'll put it on the comments as well. Yes. Yeah. And then if we, if we pick your name, then let's ping us a private message, and with your address details, and we'll happily pop one of these in the post to you. Technology, say. And this is my, uh, Painted Puppies for the Spot Creative Challenge on Tuesday. So, colored in... Rich Raspberry and Black Bear Bliss. Lovely. So yes, so thank you very much. Apologies that we couldn't do the name picker live. 
uh, but we will get that as soon as we stop the video and we'll add it on the comments so whoever wins uh, contact us mitosocrafts at yahoo.co.uk okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll put it on our Facebook as well so um, if you are on Facebook um, just message us through there cool excellent cool thanks again for joining thanks us thanks very much for watching and we will see you on Wednesday yes alright have thanks, a good guys. one see you Bye. later bye